All right, just taking a quick look at this Dabson. This is the 1300. So this is a smaller version. You know, they first came out with the 2300, which has been quite popular. I mean, they, they pretty much nailed that one out of the park. So, you know, of course, we should be excited to take a look at this new smaller version. And, you know, of course, they're going to be competing with the real popular models that Bluetti, EcoFlow, Jackery, all the top brands, you know, they're coming out with these smaller models, smaller batteries that can still output a lot of power, right? And just it's just nice to have it all in one unit and something that's still portable. Now, the thing is, Dabson, they've kind of gone a little bit different of a route here. It's not quite the same. So it is a smaller battery, but in order to really get, you know, the big output power, the, the full like 1800 watts inverter is what you're probably going to want you are going to have to hook this thing up in parallel. And so the first thing that Debson's really been known for is using these semi-solid state LFP cells. So this is something I still haven't seen any other company mention. And these are like actually pretty cool little cells. I mean, take a look at this thing. They've got like this, they say it's like a three-dimensional tab or, or terminal on the, the battery, right? To kind of give it some more surface area in a smaller size, right? To keep the, the size down and that's, <laughs> you know, that's the whole point of what they're saying here. Now, the thing is, I would say is, though, you know, when the DBS 2300 first came out like a year ago, they did have, you know, this was quite a bit smaller, more compact for a given capacity than what the competition had. But now it seems like, you know, all the top companies, they're getting their hands on these newer next generation LFP cells. They're not semi-solid state, but they're just, you know, the next generation and it seems like the size and weight is pretty comparable to this, to what Dabson is using here with these semi-solid state cells. So, you know, 36.4 pounds. Yeah, it's about, you know, we're talking 1300 watt hours, right? So this is, um, it's pretty similar, honestly, to like Jackery, Bluetti. Like I said, all the new models that have all the new LFP cells, it's pretty similar. So, but the thing is, the difference is still this. 4,500 plus cycles they're saying, and that is till 80%. And it's not just, you know, because it's semi-solid state, they're saying that they're using artificial intelligence, right? The, the BMS has basically AI built into it. And for the inverter, it's, well, 1,200 watts. It's, that's all you get, 1,200 watts. So, you know, if you want something that's gonna basically power anything you can plug into a standard wall outlet, you're gonna need the 1,800 watts, right? As I mentioned, so, Mm, I don't know. Like, like I said, a lot of the competition, they're giving you 1800 watt inverters, right? In the smaller, more portable power stations that they're offering now. So uh, I don't know, you know, tell me what you guys think of this concept, but they basically want you to, even though this is a small portable unit, they want you to still kind of have this parallel system, right? Where they're kind of splitting up, I guess, splitting up stuff between two different units. In this case, you know, they do offer this bundle here, two of the main units here, two of these 1300 models, and then the parallel box. So, and what's interesting about this parallel box as well, just kind of taking a look at it, is it looks like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It looks like there's two sections here, right? It looks like there's this section, which gives you two regular outlets and then the 30 amp. And then this 30 amp outlet here is separate. So, but actually, if you zoom in here, uh, let's just zoom in. You can actually see that this one's rated for 120 volts. You know, the 100 to 120 volts, that's Japan. Japan is 100 volts. U.S. is 120 volts. You know, it's all the same connectors, right? So if you ever see that on power stations, that's why. So, but then this one here, yeah, this one here, 120 volts as well. So... I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that maybe they're going to plan on using the same box for a version that does offer 240 volts, that does offer split phase, right? That's the only thing I can think of, but I guess right now, hey, you get three or you get two 30 amp outlets, right? <laughs> you get two of them. And so this, you know, the parallel box here, you can use it with their bigger model, the 2300, but as I mentioned, you're still only going to get 120 volts out of it. But the thing is with this 1300 model, you're actually going to be able to up the inverter to 2,000 watts, right? So it's not double, it's not 2,400 watts, but still 2,000 watts, 
it's going to be, you know, basically, like I said, anything you can plug into a standard wall outlet, it's going to work. And the P-Boost here, you know, it's the voltage dropping feature. You can use that with hair dryers, kettles, stuff like that, toasters, resistive loads, right? You can use it with that. So you can still do a lot. You don't have to go for this full parallel system. You can still do a lot with one unit if you have the right appliances, right? If you want to just be able to pretty much plug anything into it, you're going to have to go to parallel route. And now you can expand this system in addition to the parallel connections, right? So there are extra batteries, as I mentioned. You can actually hook two of them up to each unit, each, each of the main units, right? So, and then you can have the two main units hooked up in parallel. Basically, you know, the ultimate setup they're saying right down here Two of the main units and then a total of four extra batteries will actually give you almost 10 kilowatt hours, right? So a lot of capacity. Now the, the question that remains is can you do a lot of charging with it? So this was something I was really impressed with the extra battery for their bigger unit, the 2300, is you could do like the full solar input on those extra batteries. Now the thing is I don't see the specs for this extra battery here. Um, basically, they have the extra battery. And so for the charging, let's talk about it. This is, again, it's, we're talking about the main unit here. I have no idea what the extra batteries can do. A thousand watts going into this, you know, it's a, there's no power brick. I, I don't think I need to even say that. There's no power brick. You just plug it right into the wall, a thousand watts. And 1,300 watt hours, it's going to be, you know, an hour and a half, something like that, maybe. It's still pretty fast, right? And then the thing is, if you want to do it faster, you actually can. You're going to have to hook it up to the wall and solar at the same time. And then it'll give you 1,400 watts. And if you want to just do solar, you know, just solar, um, the specs are, you know, as I mentioned, 400 watts. It's really not that great. It, it's decent. It's decent, but 60 volts is your maximum. And as I mentioned, 400 watts and 12 amps okay so it's like it's decent it's good enough it's not great it's good enough though so again do you want to be able to do more solar then that's they want you to buy another they want you to buy another unit right they want you to buy two of them because then again you would be able to double that and you'd be able to do up to 800 and let's just kind of gloss over the other features you know all the usb it's all there everything you're going to want 100 watt usb c stuff like that it's all there the 12 volt, you know, the barrel jacks too, the display, the LED light. Yes, there's an app. You can use it with the app. And yes, there's an EPS function, right? 15 milliseconds or less. So the big question now becomes, do you go this route, right? Do you go this route where you're going to have to deal with hooking up other units? You're going to have to deal with hooking up the parallel box. You're going to have to deal with hooking up the extra batteries if you want to really get the most out of this system, right? And this system is gonna give you more too, especially more capacity than any of the, the competition that, we, that I mentioned, right? Bluetti, Jackery, even EcoFlow, you're not gonna get near 10 kilowatt hours in a small, portable system like this, right? In, in this kind of 30 to 35 pound range, you're not gonna get anywhere near that. So that's the advantage of going with Dabson here now, the disadvantage is, you know, if you do want big power, big inverter output, you're going to have to get more than one of these, right? You're going to have to get two of them, hook them up in parallel. And it's just, I don't know, it's kind of a hassle. <laughs> it's kind of a hassle, to be honest. So that's where I really, I just love the idea of like an EcoFlow Delta II, an Anchor C1000, Jackery 1000 Plus something that's going to give you a big inverter in a small package and it's just one unit that's all you got to deal with but the thing is i would say you know if you really want to get serious then this system is just going to allow you to expand and even expand over time right you don't have to buy this you don't have to go crazy you don't you don't got to go crazy here and buy everything at once you know so that is an appeal as well you can just kind of slowly upgrade this thing over time and yeah so it's like there's pros and cons here right there's pros and cons uh, tell me what you guys think you know this is obviously 
the thing I do like about this is it's just, it's different, <laughs> right? It's a different option than those other units. So yeah, and then, you know, even if you just wanted to use one unit by itself, if you get the right appliances, watch my other videos, you know, on cooking, heating, all those things, you can do a 1200 watt inverter, you can do everything, right? You're just not gonna be able to, be able to take anything you find in your house and plug it in, you know? So yeah, I mean, I guess overall, this is still, it's still appealing and there's still a lot of benefits to this. And this, you know, is this a launch price? I don't know, maybe it is. It's a pretty good price too. So yeah, hopefully I just kind of found this overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.